Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Nina Ribena's Art Journal Prompts and More. It's the beginning of September and so time for a new prompt and the prompt this month is Art Journal Frenzy. Um, we're going to be doing lots of art journal pages and maybe having a go at making a flourish style journal. I don't know, I haven't um, decided yet. Um, any preferences then, you know, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Um, today the prompt is Galaxy. I want to have a go at um, doing a Galaxy art journal page and as you can see from the supplies that I've got here I'm going to be using alcohol markers and it really doesn't matter what type of alcohol marker you use for this um, sharpies will work fine as will you know the the more arty style markers these have got um, a chisel tip and a thin end the chisel tip just makes life a bit quicker and a bit easier but um, you'll get a good result with either you could use alcohol inks for this um, and if you haven't got any of these supplies I'll give you some more ideas and alternatives at the end of the video as well. Let me just put these to one side. You will need to work on either the reverse side of good quality photo paper or UPO paper if you want to try this with alcohol markers or alcohol inks. Um, I use the Kirkland Signature brand um, photo paper and I use the reverse side. So that's the normal glossy side that you would print your photos on. It won't work on that side because the inks just don't spread. So I use the reverse side. The cheap stuff from the pound shop won't work because that's got a paper backing you could use an old photograph um, for this here's an old blurry photograph you could use the back and if it's got a bit of branding on it it really doesn't matter the alcohol markers should cover that up you'll also need some isopropyl alcohol high strength um, mine's 100% I would say probably anything from about 80% upwards surgical spirits will do the job as will alcohol blending solution I personally think that isopropyl alcohol is better you'll need some mark making tools I've got a thin um, number one paintbrush here I've also got some dress makers pins I've got a regular flat head um, and then a couple of the the pearl ends in different sizes I've got um, a bottle lid and I did have um, a paintbrush protector as well which um, seems to have gone walkabouts but I'll show you that um, later so let's make a start I'm just drawing some wavy lines on my page and I'm going through the colours. I start off with the dark blue, go to dark pink and I'm just repeating the process until I get to the bottom of my page, making sure that I fill in all of the gaps. And I'm doing a similar thing here with the Sharpie markers, but this time I'm just colouring in blocks as opposed to wavy lines across the page, just so that you can um, see the difference in, in how it looks once the colours are blended. As you can see, I've got two backgrounds, one done with the more art style alcohol markers and one done with Sharpies. Now you'll notice with the Sharpies you get more of sort of like a jagged edge because you haven't got um, the broad tip, but that really, really doesn't matter because what you're going to do now is I'm working on a piece of kitchen towel. I'm going to spray some isopropyl alcohol across the top of my background and just let that drip. I'm just drying my background on the lowest setting on my heat tool which is important because photo paper blisters and bubbles really easily. The alcohol ink will dry really quickly, this will take just a matter of seconds but as I say do be careful. 
So I'm going to do exactly the same thing now with the Sharpie markers. Um, the lines are slightly more visible than with the art style markers just because it's got a, a thinner nib and it takes slightly longer to blend but you do get um, a good result so I just want you to know that you don't have to have expensive um, art tools for this and I'm sure that the cheap um, Sharpie style markers from the pound shop would work equally as well. And so let me just bring them side by side. So two gorgeous alcohol backgrounds. So I'm going to start working on this background here first and I'm going to use a variety of pins. Here we go. My paintbrush, um, the brush lid which I found, the bottle top and I should be using this isopropyl alcohol out of these two containers here. Now I'm just doodling with the isopropyl alcohol. Don't overthink it, just you know, plonk it down um, and just keep going until you've got patterns that you are happy with. Just a huge amount of fun doing this and it's difficult to know when to stop.
so I've just kept going and going and going, adding more colour, taking it away with the isopropyl alcohol, splattering, um, just having loads and loads of fun. And here's the one that I did with Sharpie markers as well. That's the Sharpie marker background, and I've done exactly um, the same thing to this one here. Um, the only real difference is that the pink is more vibrant on the um, artist style um, markers, which I really, really do like. But of course, you can mix and match if you've if you've got some anyway or just use a brighter um, shade of sharpie marker I just absolutely love those so what I want to do now is frame my piece because I want to put it um, in my journal um, so I'm going to use some stays on ink in midnight blue here's my finished art journal page I just absolutely love this life is full of beauty I dream of stars that glitter I've put this into a brand new um, art journal I got this from hobby craft they come in a pack of three for three pounds so a pound each and they measure um, let me just have a look eight and a quarter by I think it's five and three quarters five and three quarters um, and it's got really nice quality um, paper so I just thought this would make a really nice journal I will eventually as well do something with the cover but I just want to um, fill this full of projects to do with alcohol isopropyl alcohol alcohol inks um, alcohol markers watercolors with isopropyl alcohol all of that kind of stuff so that is my first page let me show you the one that um, I did with Sharpie markers. That one's been inked around the edges. I also tried it um, on that photograph that I showed you earlier as well. You can still see the Kodak branding very, very slightly, but I think that's pretty good and certainly good enough to experiment on. So if you want to try this kind of thing and you want to see what kind of photos work and what, uh, you know, what don't, this is a great way to experiment. As I say, this was Kodak paper. I also tried it on the front of photo paper as well which I said you know wouldn't work as well and it doesn't um, you do get some kind of reaction but the colours just don't blend as well but I also think that you know if you used a blending tool to do this you could get some really really cool um, effects um, you'd just have to be careful about how you did it and you get a completely different look um, to using it on the reverse side so there we go and my advice is try it on small pieces of photo paper first so that you can see you know what markers work which ones don't I also said I would share some alternatives for those of you that don't have photo paper and don't have alcohol markers um, these were some backgrounds that I did two years ago I did them when I was in Spain the year before last and I did these with watercolour um, paints on mixed media paper and I used isopropyl alcohol now I used my Kuretake, um, Kuretake um, watercolour paints and they come in a pack of um, how many? 30 six paints a mixture of opaque colors and you also get some metallics as well they're absolutely beautiful I don't use these enough um, and this was the galaxy effect that I got from doing this I splattered the wet watercolor with isopropyl alcohol and got a galaxy effect using those so I'm going to leave the link to this video in the description box below so I hope that some of you will give this a try it's highly addictive I kept going let me show you some of the other ones that I made as well I started playing around with scrap pieces of um, photo paper that I had as well and I've got all of these because I thought these would be really nice to make cards out of as well so I'm going to be doing something with these just you know so much fun so I hope you'll enjoy the prompt this week if you enjoyed this as always I'd really appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below and take care everyone I'll see you all again soon bye for now Thank mm -hmm. you.